a fun project for us today. This is a 1989 Chevy Suburban with an unusual wiring problem. Check this out. When you open the door, any door, the courtesy light down here comes on like it's supposed to. The dome lights do not come on. And it gets better, the radio loses power. So right now, ignition is on. If we close the door, we can see there's the clock saying it's one o'clock. I can set that time. I set the time, open the door, close it, resets to one o'clock. Now I didn't set the time just now, but trust me, uh, that's bizarre. So the circuit powering the radio that's supposed to provide constant power is losing power as soon as you open any of the doors. Furthermore, horn does not work. I can hear a faint buzzing sound under the dash, maybe a horn relay or something, but horn does not work. Um, I haven't tried the cigarette lighter yet. All the rest of the lights work. Exterior lights are fine. Instruments are fine. The radio works. Not the clock, but uh, if you turn it on, it works just fine. Dome lights do not work, even if you turn them on manually at the headlight switch. They do not come on no matter what. But those little map lights will glow dimly if the door is closed. So there's a whole bunch of problems all at once. The wiring on this car is completely stock, unmodified, always been maintained properly. I don't know of any repairs that have been done, but it should be just bone stock wiring, except for a couple of two-way radios, but they still work just fine. I don't think they're part of the problem. This could be a lot of things. Blown fuse, bad connection, bad ground, shorted out dome light bulb, radio problem, dome light switch, uh, like the door switch problem. Could be a lot of things. We could shotgun parts. We could uh, chase our tail. But I was able to borrow a wiring diagram. So I think we're going to go through the wiring diagram and see if we can figure out what it has to be and go from there. I thought I'd show you what I mean about the radio and the clock. So I'll set the time. Let's just say it's, uh, doesn't matter. Let's say it's 3.05 right now. Okay, it's 3.05. Turn the radio on, turn it off. Turn the key off, turn it back on. The beeps you heard are my, are my two-way radios. So, works just fine. Door's closed right now. Now I'm going to open the door and close the door. Clock's reset. Pretty strange, huh? Let's figure it out. Okay, I think I figured it out. Okay, I think I figured it out. The cigarette lighter also does not work properly. If we look here, clock, dome light, and as we'll see later, the cigarette lighter and the horn are all on the same fuse. So these C's up here are all connectors powered by this fuse right here that's labeled horn and DM for dome light. So all our problems are on one circuit. If we look at the back side of the fuse block, that fuse is right there that we're talking about. It is powered by this bus bar right here that comes from the battery. So that one wire from the battery it powers all three of these fuses here on the bottom left hand side of the fuse block which is our horn dome light fuse, tail light and courtesy light, and ECM B. The tail lights work fine, courtesy light works fine, ECM works fine because the truck runs and drives fine. So that tells me that this wire right here is just fine. This power is good. So all our problems are after this fuse. 
And you can see on the back side here where that uh, goes to the horn and the dome light, whatever else you plug in here. And in some other wiring diagrams I also saw where it goes to the cigarette lighter and well you can see right here the radio clock. So it's pretty easy to say that that fuse is blown. If none of those things worked, the horn, dome lights, if they were out completely, it's easy to just say that fuse is blown. Now I think that's what the problem is. Just a blown fuse. We'll check in a minute of course. But why does the radio clock work when the door is closed? You remember that I mentioned when the door is open, the courtesy light comes on. So the courtesy light still works, but the dome lights don't. So let's take a look at that wiring and I'll try to explain what I think is going on. Here's the courtesy lamp. Power comes into the courtesy lamp on circuit 40, 40, and it's grounded on circuit 156. Circuit 40 comes through the headlight switch, not through it, but it's uh, there's a junction right here at the headlight switch. The power actually comes from, go up here, the fuse panel, to that fuse, second one up from the bottom on the left that we looked at earlier. So power goes straight to the courtesy lamp, and then it grounds 156 through two different means. It grounds through the headlight switch, and also grounds through the door switches. Like that one up there. So there's 156. Follow this one down through the door jam switch or the right door jam switch just like the dome lights. Okay, I drew a simplified wiring diagram that just includes the circuits that we're interested in today. So power comes from the battery to those three fuses on the fuse panel that we saw earlier. The horn dome light fuse, tail light and courtesy fuse, ECM fuse. So again, we know that power is good up to this point. Through the horn dome light fuse, we run off to the horn circuit, the cigarette lighter, the clock, and the dome light. Now power goes to the dome light first, so that light bulb is always hot. There's always power there but it only comes on when you ground it. And it grounds through the door jam switch to ground. The courtesy light comes from this, this fuse here. Power goes through the bulb, through the same door jam switch to ground. When you open the door, the door jam switch closes and power can flow through both the dome light and the courtesy light when things are working properly. But let's say that you take this fuse out. Radio clock doesn't draw much power. Power is flowing through the tail light courtesy light switch or um, circuit fuse, through the courtesy light, up through this circuit here, back feeding through the dome light, and then powering the clock cigarette lighter. Not enough power to power the horn, but there's enough to power the clock. Now why don't the courtesy light and dome lights glow? Because the clock doesn't draw enough power to actually make those, those light bulbs to turn on. There's not enough power being drawn by the clock to make these bulbs glow. But I bet if you put a big enough load on that circuit, if you plug something big into the cigarette lighter, Actually, if you just turn the cigarette lighter on itself, I bet those bulbs would glow. Now, I tested the cigarette lighter with a cell phone charger, which doesn't draw anything to speak of for power. But that's what I think is going on. We can test that theory pretty easy. If we just remove the light bulb from the courtesy light, if we take that light bulb out, I bet the clock goes out and stays out entirely. It doesn't have power at all. Other thing you always want to ask when a fuse is blown is, why did it blow? Um, I don't know. 
in this case. And it may not be blown. There could be a problem with the wiring going up to this point too. So it's in the fuse or there's a bad connection between the fuse and these loads. We'll check that out in, in a minute. If there was a hard short, like a short circuit, any place up in here, the courtesy light would turn on. That bulb would glow. Now I've had this problem for a few days and I've put about 300 miles on the car since this problem started happening. And the courtesy light has never come on, not even going over bumps down the road. I would have noticed it for sure. So I can be pretty confident when I say that there are no short circuits in that horn dome light circuit. So if the fuse is blown, I think I'll take a chance and just replace it and see if it blows again. But I'd say that that'll be just fine. Well that was it. Blown fuse. Well, anyways, trust me, there it is. Blown. It kind of bothers me because I can't explain why it blew, but I'll just keep an eye on it. This is my personal daily driver, so if it blows again, I'll take a look and see what's going on. But, dome lights are on. Actually, you know what? It is blue. It blew as soon as I turned that map light on. So maybe that is our problem. All right, I have more work to do. False alarm. It didn't blow, I just had a bad connection. So I cleaned the terminals on the new fuse, reseated it, and now everything works just fine. No worries. So that's it. All the dome lights, uh, poor headliner, but there's a dome light up there. Dome lights are all working. Radio clock is on. Door is still open. Courtesy light works. I'll set the clock. Close the door. Still good. Open it. Close it. No problem. Just a blown fuse. Alright, thanks for watching.